How far did you get a Resident Evil 2? How far did we get again? I don't remember. Do you remember? I think I beat I beat that guy with the eyeball on his arm. And then I was in a bit of a predicament because uh I didn't have I don't have any more ammo. I was in quite a pickle. I got the jukes. Thank you. I was surprised I beat the boss on the first try. Wait, didn't I get the key card already or no? Oh no, I didn't get it. Fuck. I just noticed something Connor did the Sebastian boys back in the day and the this waifu is a Ren wait what? And his waifu is Ren the maid? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Getty he stays. Getty he stays. Getty he stays. Uh I think I'm gonna go to bed at like noon. Maybe? I, I'm not as tired right now. What time is it when I... T Wait, hold on. Let me check. Yeah, because I don't know... Uh... for grandma oh grandma hola como estas te estas portando mal hmm? te estas portando mal you're being good you're being bad okay uh pull time for me
Oh my god, typing in a dead one. Let's see if my hand... If my hand can can handle it. Shit, I didn't record my lines. I gotta do a... I gotta record my lines. Tonight. Tonight! The typing of the dead. Uh, uh. Welcome, Blue Steel. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. God, am I actually gonna be good at typing or am I gonna fail horribly? I'm scared. Did you finish your top 30? Oh, uh, I'm almost done with it. Almost, almost done. Bros, I need to, I need to wake up. Hello. I need to wake up, guys. Nah, sorry, I can't. I need to tonight. wake up. I gotta wake up, bro. Nah, there's not gonna be any other girls. Bros, I gotta wake up, bro. Just me and the boys. <laughs> I'm off a blue pack. I'm smoking beaners tonight. I got a big sack. It's making boys come all night. I want a big crack. Pounding beef on his back. He want a big nut, big slut. Well, I'm all of that. I'm off the blue I don't think that game agrees with me. Oh? That was so strange. Uh... Okay, so when I tried to start the game, like the game started, but it like my OBS froze, like it wouldn't. My OBS froze completely and it wouldn't unfreeze. That's so weird. What the fuck? Why'd that happen? It wasn't the song, it was the game. I don't know why... It That's never happened to me before. Even with like Resident Evil, like... You know, when I would go down... Uh, my... My, uh... Are we back? Hello? So even with, even with Resident Evil, like, it'll freeze for a little bit, but it comes back. But with this one, it wasn't coming back at all. It was, like, staying frozen. And I had to close the game. And then, when I closed the game, that was when OBS got unstuck. I wonder why. That's really weird. Uh... Trying to decide what to do now.
Okay. Uh, do I have a C... What? What's a CPU usage monitor? Why does everybody want me to see the Trash Taste Cycling episode? The new one? Okay, we could watch the new one, but we have to watch it as like a watch along. What do you think? I kind of want to see if I could try to make it work one more time, but I'm kind of scared. Kind of scared. Kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. I kind of want to see if, it, if I could get it to work, but uh, I don't know if I should. Any song? Let me see if I could try one more time. I'm gonna try one more time. Twitch chat is crazy? Why you say that? Yeah, man. A week. Me. I'm gonna try one more time. Well, I'm gonna try one more time. Oh my god. <gasps> I never used these teeth. That was crazy. Masha, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Look at my teeth. I never use these. I never use my fangs.
did you get wings? A while back ago. <sighs> I had to do a stretch. I had to do a tiny stretch, I'm sorry. Hmm. Let's see. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Remember there was back rooms with Monkey? What was that? Oh, we're gonna do back rooms, the back rooms game in VR. When he comes back. And possibly scare the shit out of each other. It'll be true, super scary. It'll be super scary. We won't know what to do. Non-stop jump king. Uh, I would play jump king, but I wanted to play it without stopping. So I was thinking maybe we could play that. What about yes, stop jump king? You don't want me to play jump king? You don't want me to? Cycling special? Try typing in the dead again. I'm afraid to try it because I don't want... I'm afraid I'm gonna kill my computer. <laughs> uh, I might try it again later. I think maybe, maybe before I try it, I should uh, do like a a restart or something of some sort. But yeah. How am I feeling? I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. I think maybe right now, uh... We'll watch some stuff to wind down. And then, uh, I'll, I'll go to sleep around noon. If that's okay. And then when I wake up, we'll play some games. Yeah. 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 Oh man, I want to play... I see everybody playing Lost Ark and I want to play it, but I gotta download it. And I can't download it while I'm streaming. I can't download it while I'm streaming. What time is it for me? It's, uh, it's 10 o'clock a.m. Good morning! Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning! Good morning! Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning! 
good morning. Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go, uh, we'll watch some. We'll watch, uh, what do you guys want to watch now? What do you want to watch? What do you my recommended are so fucked right now. Holy shit, dear God. What's the new Trash Taste episode about? We're still an anime podcast? What does that even mean? Anime and no? Grip, thank you so much for the ten gifted subs. This isn't like in the anime. What does Mouse want to do? I don't even think Mouse knows what Mouse wants to do. <laughs> we never did see that uh, abandoned theme park video. I kind of want to watch that one. Because I really like abandoned stuff. I'm done. 
down for abandoned theme park. Uh, I'll get small. Doo, 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 doo. Whimsical mother, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Yay! You missed that one. Oh, no, no, no. Where have you taken us, Chris? What a scary We're going cat. to die tonight. This is a found footage horror film in the making. Oh, 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 oh. What, what, what? <laughs> Why is it so loud? So much bad weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Connor dog voice actor. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm doing it to myself. Two months ago, it was a time of celebration. I'd visited all 47 of Japan's prefectures, and Connor promised he'd take me to the best hotel in all of Shikoku. And what did he do? He took me to the worst hotel, a room well, filled course, with 28 kinds of mold, a room that I'm still recovering he's an from asshole. with all the PTSD. Of he's do that. And so it's time to return the favour to dear Connor and take him to an abandoned hotel in the most bear infested territory in all of North Japan under the guise oh of going God. to a nice hot spring on And then I'm gonna feed him to the bears. I'm gonna need a third hand witness though, someone who can prove that I didn't murder him myself. Mm. Oh, he'll do very nicely. <laughs> Isn't that animation so cute? Isn't that animation cute? It's adorable. I don't... <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Oh, 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 oh. Just letting you guys know, by the way. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's cute. Yeah, I was the one that helped them get that maid. Just letting you know. I'm letting everybody know. I was the one that helped them get that maid. He was like, do you know anybody who could do an animation that's like really cute and really quick? And I'm like, yeah, I know somebody. I know a person. And then I was like, here, contact this person. So you're welcome, everyone. You're welcome. Well, here we are, guys. Yet another wacky weekend You're with welcome. Connor Dog, voice actor. How you doing, Connor? I'm doing good, Chris. How you doing? I'm very good. Do you know why I'm good, Connor? What? I'm not going to a love hotel today for the really? first time ever. On wacky weekend, there's not a single love hotel in sight. Just wait for my next wacky weekend. For God's sake. Love hotels on a tiny island in Japan. <laughs> today, I've got a nice hot spring lined up. One of the best in North Japan out here in the countryside. Your mum is going to love it. Mm -hmm. Why? For those of you that missed it, Why? Connor's mum is uh, a big fan of Abroad in Japan. I wouldn't say a big fan. Aww, Connor did a video so with his mum. His mum is point, so like, nice. Oh, mom, what's your favourite thing? And she's like, ah, oh, it's Abroad in Japan. So, thank you, Connor's mum. Not mom. favourite thing. She likes your videos, Chris. Chris is going to see this. He's going to get such oh, a big yeah. ego boost. They I love, love you, Chris. They love Chris. I can't believe it. This ego is inflating. There's going to be no room for me in the car in 10 minutes. Your mom, your mom's I wonder whose ego is more inflated. Uh, especially going to love the first place we're going today. Do you like theme parks? You'd be on like roller coasters. Yeah, you just go to like Old Town. Ah, and those I wonder. Days. Love theme parks, love thrill rides, I love scary places like that. Excellent. Well, we're going to not just any theme park, but an abandoned theme park today. Okay. How abandoned? Like, like, like the lines are short. Like it's 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 not been open since 1980. I don't know what it is about oh, abandoned shit. I, I, don't really like I'm pretty sure my insurance doesn't cover this, Chris. Shit. <laughs> what's like your mum gonna say? I know. You go around an abandoned theme park. She'll quickly not be your favourite if you injure oh, me, no. Chris. <laughs> Yeah, they do. They really do inflate each other's egos. In the 1970s and 80s, against the backdrop of Japan's booming economy, many new hotels and amusements were built across the country to cater for the growing middle classes. This amusement park, built in 1979, once welcomed 200,000 people through its doors every year. Then in the 1990s, the good times came to an end, and like many rural businesses in the leisure industry, this place went bankrupt, closing its doors oh, in 2000. No. Whoa, that looks sick. 21 years of decay and a magnitude 9 earthquake later, it's a miracle that the rusted Ferris wheel still stands at all oh my over God. the ghostly remains it's still of the standing? forgotten park. Wow. 
you told me we were going to a theme park, Chris. This is <laughs> not what I had in mind. Oh, that looks like a fun ride, isn't it? What's that? T tire on a piece of wood? Is that? <laughs> it's like a Welsh playground. <laughs> that's, just, that's how my childhood was. There's a lot of noises. What? Keep an eye out for bears. Oh, what? There's a lot of bears around there. Are you serious? Genuinely. Are you seriously? Some, something actually in the bushes. Well, it's been a good wacky weekend. Uh, I'm going to go back to the car now because <laughs> I don't want to die in a bear attack. What was what this ride? What was this? Just like a swing off the rope and die? What is this? What? I know. I know fun when I see it, <laughs> and that looks like fun. Oh, whoa! Whoa, that is really cool. Wow. That is a really small Ferris wheel, but very rusty. This reminds me of like a. I remember this watching. Been like the entrance. I remember watching a. What's the name of this theme park anyway? Do you know? I remember watching a video about this abandoned theme park called Nada Nada Dreamland, and that was pretty cool to look at. Or something. It's, it's all paved, and there's some tires. I'm hearing a lot of noises though from. <laughs> bugs and stuff. oh my god it's getting more like look at this all right you have all the pavement there right and it cuts to just this and and I, I keep hearing things moving I do as well. it's quite scary i know i joked about bears but uh there's been double the rates of bear attacks over the last five years in this what in bear? this area um, because the population is going down, right, the bears are getting a lot bolder. Yeah. What and the they love fuck? Welsh people. They love the taste and the scent. At least I know I can outrun you. You know what they say, right? <laughs> you, know, you don't need to outrun the bear, you need to outrun your friend. You I, I used to be the fastest runner in my school. <laughs> don't don't laugh at me. It was, I, I, was the, I was the fastest runner in my school, 1996. Yeah? So, you want to watch out, mate? I what school you went to. Let's check this out. It's so creepy! What do we do if a bear comes, by the way? Uh, don't know. Wow, look at that. It's pretty cool. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah. I don't scary. want to die today, so I'm not going to go near that because I just have a feeling that I might be the perfect weight to just bring the whole thing down. How do you think I feel? You can't go Christian. inside of it. Are you nuts? It's a bit like um, Chernobyl, Pripyat. Yeah. Do they have it's a tetanus shot? It's really That's strange. I, uh, how, how does this happen? How, how does this just like get left? I mean, with the, there's like speakers over there as well. It kind of gives this kind of weird military-esque feeling. Is this your kind of ride, Connor? This sort of is thing one that on? I would love to go on. You know, me and me and the boys always go on the thing that goes in a circle, moderately fast ride. I don't know what you call this. That's <laughs> 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 such a shit description. What, 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 how else would you describe it? You just go in a circle. As we wander deeper into the sprawling 50-acre park, one of the saddest sights is the degraded merry-go-round. Seeing something that's typically associated with laughter and happiness yeah, now eroded and rusted sad. away with the gaunt expression of the forgotten animals, seeming both poignant and undeniably Cop chilling. Teacup. It's hard to that's put it into teacup. words. But fortunately, to help capture the atmosphere, we've got Connor and his unmatched commentary. Yeah. Oh, fuck! The dragonfly hit me in the fucking face! It's very really depressing, isn't it? <laughs> it's sad. I'm, I'm, I've got to... Let me Google synonyms of sad for a moment. <laughs> Hey Google, what are synonyms of sad? It's dismal, dreary, heartbreaking. Oh my God! Shut the fuck trending. up! What? This, is, this is crazy mournful. to look at. It's very mournful, you know. It's really interesting to see. <laughs> horses, and I dare say it's quite like this, dreary. Being taken and over by nature. That's a poisonous spider there as well, the green one. That's poisonous. Yeah, be careful for spiders around here. Okay. Whoa, what you the fuck? Tell me that could happen. I don't think spider. my insurance covers poisonous spider <laughs> out in an abandoned thing. You never know your luck, but like, yeah, be careful. They're pretty bad. That's massive. I'm not going near that. You can you can go and get the shot on the mirror. I'm, I'm the cameraman. I'm, I don't mind being the cameraman for once. I, it's, it's your channel. Let me be the cameraman. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Go on, Chris. Get, get <laughs> oh shit! Did you miss that one? Yeah. Oh fuck! No. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough. Do you like spiders? What a fucking I, I, I baby. Nobody likes spiders. I don't. I don't. I'm not sc super scared of them. But when you tell me they can kill me, that's a whole. They can't kill you. That's it's a whole just, different. It really fucking hurts. And you might have to go to hospital if you get buggered. Oh yeah, because that's how I want to spend my Wednesday. Yeah, of course. If the wind blows one of the spiders on us. You worry too much. 
I don't think I do. I don't think I'm worrying enough. Sorry that you take Joey and everyone else apparently on Earth to lovely Wagyu A5 restaurants and onsens that are amazing. <laughs> Although you did promise an onsen later, so I'd better be good. I'll make it up to you. I'll good. make it up to you. Don't worry. It's, it's, honestly, it's been taking the piss now. Twice in a row now, you've taken me to what seems to be the scariest and most dangerous places you could oh find in Japan. What a fucking I, baby. I almost think that you could file a life insurance claim on me. What <laughs> like, a baby. If Dog VA dies, I inherit the empire. <laughs> no, you're I want, I want the Twitch, I want the YouTube, no, I want it all. Come back, Chris. Oh shit, is this the restaurant? Oh my in? god, look at that. We can't even get in. Oh, maybe we can. We have to cross quite the treacherous bridge again, maybe. Oh my god, I thought that was a snake. We should have brought heart rate monitors with us. Oh my god. Because I think both of us are constantly on the cusp of having a heart attack today. Connor thought this was a snake, <laughs> to be fair. That scared the fuck out of me. What do you think this room was before? Like, oh, it was like a tourist centre, I think. There's lots of like photos of the local area. Oh, yeah, maybe. It is really eerie. Like, just the echo is... I mean, I can't hear anything except myself. <laughs> I'm not going to karaoke with you anytime soon. What? Oh my god. Can you sing? You can sing. <laughs> he can sing! That was good as Chris. Well, I'm good. Mm, okay. I'll prove it to you later. Oh, yeah, sorry. Too much volcano. For some reason, all the glass has been smashed. Clearly, someone's done that. It could have been like an earthquake yeah, or something. Maybe, maybe. Like in the Fukushima disaster zone, the exclusion zone, mm -hmm. a lot of buildings are still destroyed from the earthquake itself, right? Huh. Not just being abandoned mm -hmm. eight, nine, ten years, but. The earthquake. So, if this building's been here, wow. I think 10 to 15 years, yeah. I read online, then um, you know it's no surprise if it, uh, it's been affected by the earthquake. It's a shame, really, because it's a really nice-looking traditional building. Mm. It's just kind of rotting away. Whoa. Oh, it's golf. Give you some golf here. <laughs> what does it say? Crazy golf. I love the artwork. Why does it say CBD oh, on there? What the fuck? What a rager. Leisure. Leisure. Oh, rager. Oh, leisure. Rager. Leisure. 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 Oh, leisure park. Oh. It's all boarded up though. Is that an airplane? That's an airplane. Whoa, <laughs> it looks an like airplane? that's really cool. A real airplane as well. Yeah, ah. it does. What's over here? This is some horrifying graffiti. Whoa. We heard a, uh, some worrying rattling noises coming from inside the building. Yeah, no thank you. I think I'm done. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine to go. Yeah. Good. Let's go, let's go, let's go the other way. Right, plane. You want to get in the plane? No. <laughs> Are you satisfied, Connor? Do you want to get out the park? Satisfied? I'm miserable. Well, and miserable? Cold and uh, I brought you depressed. here to the, the top theme park in all of North Japan and you feel miserable. Top theme park? What fucking theme park is it? Depression park. <laughs> why can't we just go and review five-star hotels or Emirates First Class? You know, why? I'm doing that with Joey next week. <sighs> all right. Well, I'm going to be going. I don't really <laughs> want to spend any more time here than I have to. It's really cool. But it's also kind of unnerving. I, I don't really want to be here what with the spiders too much longer. Baby. I've already got one snake with me. Don't need more dangerous animal. Get out. Wild beast. <laughs> if Connor feels uncomfortable in the abandoned theme park, wait until he experiences tonight's hotel, which doesn't exist. But having spent the afternoon in the theme park, struggling to access almost half of it due to the overgrown pathways and collapsed buildings, we leave the park behind to go and rendezvous with Natsuki. Mm. Well, guys, we're just here outside of 7-Eleven in the middle of nowhere near mm. our hot spring resort that we're going to go to tonight. And uh, we're waiting for the great Natsuki, who will be here. The legend himself. 10 to 15 minutes. How do you feel, though? This is your first time to meet Natsuki, right? That's like meeting PewDiePie, you know. It's uh, meeting, meeting a legend, a titan of the YouTube uh, industry. No, it's weird. I mean, I've, I've seen Natsuki for years, essentially, through your channel. So it's going to be weird trying to communicate with him in my terrible Japanese. Well, he's a chart-topping iTunes rapper now. Of course, as yeah. Of this year, Salami. As of I hope he has some for me. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to introduce yourself in Japanese? Let's do a practice round. Konnichiwa, Oh, how do you manage it? Boku no chin-chin oki desu. Do that. I'm going to see what happens. What the Do that fuck? in a serious voice. <laughs> and he'll be like, oh, I'm so on the spot. He'll probably be really deadpan. <laughs> this is it. He's got pocket talk. <laughs> Sorry from the door. This is a meeting of mine. Are you ready, Anne? I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Nice to meet you. My name is Natsuki. Thank you for your time today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> nice to meet you. Hey. How you doing? Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I've heard so much hey. about you. Oh, it's uh, lovely to meet you, Natsuki. I uh, hope you uh, have been well. Nancy, 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 Nancy,
shit of breath. Shitty weekend. <laughs> Shitty abroad in Japan. <laughs> It looks like something out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh my god. Yeah, movie's coming out. Uh, no, no, we can't go in there, Chris, mate. We can't go in there. Fuck off. <laughs> this is a found footage horror film in the making. Welcome to Jungle Babies. Jurassic. Whoa. From this angle, like, just behind me, it looks like a forest. And then you look up and you realise that we're in a gigantic warehouse that has long since been destroyed and fallen apart. But like, it's a, a fantastic example of uh, an abandoned building being completely consumed by nature. And it's also absolutely horrifying. I must say, I did have other plans tonight. I had work to do, Chris. Videos to upload, Chris. To be fair, Connor, I think I'd rather sleep here than the room that we went in full of poisonous air that triggered my asthma. <laughs> I think I, I do have more chance of surviving in that room than this oh room. Oh my god. This room is Darwin, the, the video game. You, you're <laughs> not gonna survive the night, Chris. My shoes are ruined, Chris. Um, well, they're you know, covered in they all kinds of shit and bugs. Look, what is this shit on my feet? Open floor plan. Bit. I've got white shoes, Chris. White. Not anymore. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be brown when I leave. As we make our way through what feels like a forest with a crumbling oh my god. roof. Deeper I've never heard in, we stumble so across much. a it's corridor so filled with rooms straight out of a hole. Okay, never mind, I have. <laughs> hmm? I don't like this. You don't like this? No, this what? is horrifying. It's not, I don't like being here. No. I don't like being here. <laughs> what is this room? Oh god, oh god, no. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? this? This is a horror game. This is a horror game set. Oh, no. Oh my god. Oh. That's, that's yeah, look at that. We can get a free stem. Does it work? It that's looks like something out of Resident Evil. Oh, that's a key item right there. I should grab that. <laughs> <laughs> the quest later on. Oh. Now, what is this? This is scale. Oh, no, no. I want to play Resident Evil. Oh, no. God no, damn it. it. So, these are like precise now. measurements of weights. Yeah. Got this. Oh. So, these are like perfect yeah. replicas of like kilograms. So this is like perfect 50 grams, perfect 200 grams. And they're updated, they're really expensive, these are. And so these are like weights that they would do with the perfect weights. That's really cool. Well, I don't like being here, Chris. Whoa, you don't like what? being here? I do not like being That's here. Crazy. I mean, this is, yeah, I've been to some pretty unpleasant places in my time. Mm. The abandoned love hotel, uh, Connor's apartment, and now here. I keep I love hearing what... noises, man. I don't want to stay here anymore. You keep Aww. hearing noises? Yeah. He's scared. Like creaking. He's a scared, scared little baby. Shit smell. Oh, oh fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck off, Chris. <laughs> Not funny. Didn't laugh. <laughs> no, okay. What is this? What I don't like is like, look up there, there's a picture like a face. What? Like Coming out like fucking. What? Someone's been here. Smell it. Look, there's footprints all over here. People have been here. Oh, cup ramen. On the table. Oh, cup ramen. ramen. On the table. At last, a valuable icon. discovery. Cup ramen. Let's get out of here. I don't want to stay here a minute longer than you two, Chris. I'll... This is your room for the night, Connor. I'm leaving. I'm not staying in here, mate. You, can, what's, you, what's you can't pay me. There's coat hangers for you. I'm feeling itchy, I'm feeling fucking yeah. itchy all over, man. It's, it's quite unnerving how you can almost feel like the, the life that was once here, and like the business that used to be here. Like you can imagine where people used to sit and where they used to work, talk. Mm. It's kind of weird. I've never been to an abandoned like, office space or building like this before. Right. So I, I, I didn't really know what to expect, but it feels He's really scared. You can quite tell. uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, I've been to quite a few abandoned buildings. You go through like different emotional states. Like the first one's terror and fear, sort of walking in, looking around Sandra, at the ceiling, the things the sort of falling fire. down, so, the smell much. as well, the sort of damp, mouldy smell that uh, fills the room. Although this is still better than the, the hotel we stayed at, the worst in Japan. Oh. The air here is still literally better, even though this has yeah, been dead right, and decaying right, okay, for like a decade right. or two. Rub it in, rub it in. Right. But, this is crazy. but then you, you, yeah, you do, you do kind of get another emotion and that sort of sadness that uh, Whoever owned this business is probably dead and gone, and uh, you know they've they've had to 
leave it behind or the, yeah. you know the business went under you don't know there's a story here I'm not normally a sentimental guy but to think that people might have had some of the best times here is quite, quite well really. yeah on the other hand it's just a business isn't it so gotta make money cash money yes money I, I, I heard someone like walking just leave oh, out oh Katarina I think it's like your favourite it looks like a mouse that oh yeah. yeah whoa that's so weird it looks exactly like a mouse it does doesn't it mouse leaf <laughs> what the weird? fuck? That is weird. weird. I was say fucking weird. But fuck what the weird. fuck was that? That's bizarre. From that place, I'm expected to take care of you. Mostly. Always a fucking place every day. A fucking place. I'm expected to be taken to such a place. <laughs> wait, what was that? Wait, 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 wait. Jesus, what was that? What? I saw something like there. Yeah. Something like moved. I wanna go back. Oh, oh. What, what, what? What was that? No, 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 no. So fucking hit my leg. Get the skin. Let's fucking leave. Let's leave now. I'm getting out of here. That was snake? like a fuck. It was like a snake or something. Get the fuck. I'm fucking leaving. Let's get the fuck. I want to get the fuck out of here. Oh. Fuck. I want a fucking sandwich, Chris. I want to get the fuck out of here. Oh well, guys, we're, uh, we're, we're leaving behind Connor's new favourite hotel. <laughs> something trying to bite his leg off. And that's he's got sandwiches, so we're gonna. Oh my lord. <laughs> We're uh, gonna head down to a nearby beach and have sandwiches. So maybe this night won't be a total disaster. Sandwich goods. I have yeah. it. make Somewhere a sandwich in, yeah. in the midnight. That sounds romantic, Nat. Yeah, I would, I would oh, nothing. Uh, romantic nothing else. Sand sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you have that with you? What? Take this. Think it's also the good They're dead. Dish. He I've sold the it. It's hilarious. Only kidding. We're uh, we're here on the beach, and we are about to have sandwiches cooked and prepared by Natsuki himself. I'm so cold. Why Dr. are we here Batman, on the beach? Thank you for Perfect. The we sauce. just finished making you a sandwich. Crazy. What's in the sandwich? Oh, mayonnaise. Yeah, a little bit of mayonnaise. Just, just, just a sandwich mayonnaise. filled with mayonnaise. mayonnaise with Fantastic. Some ham, cheese, some salad. Oh, that's a lot. That's all right. What? Do you want to try, Chris? Do you want the first bite? Uh, you can have that one. No, 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 no. Your, it's your car. You should have the first bite. <laughs> it's just salami. Get the extra salami in there. Exactly. Ham, salami, so cheese, uh, macaroni, you. I think. Who's tasting you? It's so one. fucking hard. More extra. Oh, fuck off. It's like spicy or something. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's got a wrench on his head. No, I just... <laughs> Extra salami. Fuck off. <laughs> so he took a normal salad and then he put the a shit ton of mayonnaise ah, and mustard and mixed it. Let's <laughs> spread it on the <laughs> bread. Oh, my God. Thank that's me. Thank you for joining us on this journey. I hope next time on Wacky Weekend, oh. promise me we're going to go somewhere good. Mm, mm, next time. Mm. Johnny, promise. No more event. Judgment's rude. Thank you. Me too. Uh, uh, no, no, no. No, sorry, Natsuki. But thank you for coming. Yeah. We'll see you again soon. Natsuki for the first time. The first Pleasure. time Colin and Natsuki have met. And hopefully not the last time. But thank See you next time. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I just bit my mouth. <laughs> thank you for the fifth time. bit your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. You bit your tongue. Thank my, you. oh, you'll see it in the video when you play it back. Thank you very much. Thank you. For now, guys, we'll see you next it's time right back here so on the Broad Japan channel. For more extra behind the scenes content, check out the Patreon. Probably going to be some, some rather absurd outtakes there. Quite time. a lot already. But for now, guys, we'll see you next time. Right back here. Have yourselves a good one. Where did you get this from? <laughs> I didn't, well, it's got in my ear. <laughs> oh my God. I hate you so much. What do you reckon then? How was the abandoned theme park? Does it meet, meet, you very much, thank you. meet your expectations? Fuck's <laughs> sake. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't normally idolise anyone or anything, but like, you know, it is kind of weird getting to meet middle. someone who you've seen a ton, Someone's heard so much about. So. <laughs> I'm dying. That's an outtake. Oh What's my that? god! <laughs> I don't know what's in my throat. Can we do it again. Oh, it's fucking warm. Get dying. Get okay. That was fun. That was a, a, a interesting watch. Freckles, thank you for the gifted subs. That was an interesting watch. That was a. It was good. I had I had an enjoyable time. Mm 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 mm. A shotologist. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Name. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you very much. Thank thank you very much. Thank you thank you. Let me.
Let me go to the bathroom really quick and then we'll watch, uh, we'll watch more. Watch more. Let me go to the bathroom really quick. Apocalypse, thank you for the five gifted subs. I'll be, I'll be right back on the phone. Let me go to the bathroom. If that's okay. Burr, burr, beep, 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 beep.
Ah, oh, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. Oh! Hello? Oh! Oh, we hit, we hit 52. Thank you so much for the uh, five gifted subs. Well, our next goal. Uh, chat makes me DM a mutual friend and you guys tell me what to say. Uh, be nice, please. I swear to God. Ah! They have to be a mutual friend of mine. They can't be a stranger. Bathroom. Uh, I have to take medicine uh, in about 10 minutes and once I take it, uh, I think I'm gonna try to sleep a little bit and then uh, I'll sleep a little bit and then I'll wake up and we could uh, maybe play a game and we'll play a game and maybe I'll do some singing until it's time to play Apex with Fruit Cause Fruit, uh... Fruit says she can play late, late, late Like at like 1am Uh, when I speak of the devil, so, uh... I'm gonna talk to Chris tomorrow Or, I think it's today Uh, Chris said he'll message me and he'll tell me when, uh... He has time this coming week We're gonna discuss. <laughs> he sent me a... <laughs> he sent me a funny message. <laughs> He's funny. Maybe soon. I don't know. How did the Garfield thing go? I think it went pretty well. I fell asleep, unfortunately. But uh, I hope everybody enjoyed watching the video. It was a very interesting video. I think. I think it was interesting. 
I was thinking about maybe, uh... Watching something... That was interesting... Uh, maybe, uh... Hmm... Let's see... Something interesting... I was thinking about, uh... I don't know, sometimes I go on these, like, tangents where I want to learn about shit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever go through this. You just want to learn about random shit. Biblically accurate angels? Are you talking about the Wendy Wendigoon uh, video? Oh my god, there's a video of the history of the Muppet Show? Is that yeah, it's on Defunct Land. I just I just started watching uh their videos uh and I'm I've been slowly going through them. If it's defunct land, it's gotta be good. Did we watch? There's there's one that oh, uh, which one? I watched one that was like really interesting. The other day. I don't remember if it was Defunct Land or Yester World or something. Uh, Cause I went down a rabbit hole. I went down a rabbit hole of uh. I don't know if you guys know. So there's like this weird. There's like a secret club in Disney World called Club Thirty Three, and it's like, it's a secret club where it's like you have to be like super rich and you have to be like on like. A wait list for a long time to get into the fucking club and no one's ever seen the inside of it and then finally somebody like uh made a video about it and uh i've been i've been very interested in club 33 watch i became a limit lim liminal space photographer we already watched that like two days ago Club 34. Club 34 is Club 33. It's Club 33. 
<laughs> then what? It's a secret VIP lounge. Rule 34? No, thank you. Uh, Mickey Winner? No. Let's go there. We're gonna go there. You and me, we're all gonna go together. It's gonna be like a field trip. So Mickey's cookies. <laughs> All these like iceberg videos started coming out and I'm like I, I went on like a binge watch of like all these iceberg videos. That was quite a time. For decades superheroes around I wanna see the Sailor Moon video, fuck it. That's what I want to watch. I want to watch the Sailor Moon video. There's a Sailor Moon iceberg? What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> There's a Sailor Moon iceberg? What? You're kidding me. I guess there's an iceberg for everything, isn't there? Never underestimate the internet. I, I agree. There's just, there's just something for everybody, isn't there? Iron Mouse openly talks about her IRL body proportions? Who uploaded this video? What the fuck? Fuck off! Man! How dare you! Anime and manga iceberg explained. This isn't almost two hours long. What the fuck? Oh my god, this sounds very dramatic. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna put out the What the fuck is a demon core? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, my recommenders are so there's they're, 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 they're just full of a lot of strange things. What the fuck is a demon core? What is that?
Oh my god, there's this Jubilee video called Ranking Rappers by Talent. Ranking? Ranking people! Ranking music, Ranking by musical talent. Ranking drunk people. What is this video? Lord, thank you so much for the five gifted. I'm intrigued and I want to know. Uh, it's time to rank drunk people. Ranking dick size? That's an easy rank, though. Easy ranking. Oh. No, you can't watch that video. It has a warning label on it. It has a warning label. It has a warning label. Warning labels are dangerous. <sighs> Do all Minecraft YouTubers think the same? What the fuck is this video? Jesus Christ, some of these videos are so weird. Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I need... No, I don't want to watch that video. What if there's like weird questions on there? I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't... I don't want to... I don't... I don't want to... I don't want to watch that. Look, two women speed date 20 men. Or two men speed date 20 women. It's just, it is. It, it's a. It's a very strange rabbit hole. You just. You just can't stop watching. You just wanna. Hey y'all, Jason here, and I've got a big announcement. Jubilee Media is hiring. That's right. If you're a director, guys, Jubilee is hiring. Host, we've got all these different roles, and we're you looking can, for you. Can, you can. You can do My incredible videos. Of, uh, Jubilee is working like with just incredible 29 people. Naked people, blind date, 28 people wearing garbage bags or something. I don't know. You. You can make cool a video ideas. Slash this could be your career. Now enjoy the episode. Let's go. No, Mudan, no. Mudan is mine. Our ideal date is that we start with a bar crawl. And then we're going to go to the beach. Mudan is mine. Okay. Sweet. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, we're both sober, but. Holy shit. This is Salem. He has like a 96 like Mustang convertible and it's just fun to just go kick it and cruise around. He uses me for my car. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> I have a Prius though. <laughs> Salem is the type of person to have three different cameras in his tote bag at once. F you, dude. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. <laughs> so this is Riley. Uh, he used to be a pro finger deck no, tech no. decker, and uh, no. yeah, he was sponsored and everything. As far as music, a pro tech decker. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? As it goes, like jamming with him is always a good time. Things like that. Yeah. Used to be a pro like tech decker. I don't think I've ever met anybody. Yeah, the same day, the same day. Day. Like we, we found out when they stopped talking to each other, I was actually seeing them. We're both still friends with her and everything, and like I don't even think she. I mean, really I knows haven't that talked to her. Yeah. Oh my god, his my hair is really so weird. No. Uh, yeah, my hands are like, a little flammy, but it's alright. It's confusing. Hi. Hey. Hi. Um. Our ideal first date would be a picnic at, by a lake and, I don't know, we'll eat like a charcuterie board or something and like bead bracelets and maybe like paint something. Yeah. Jam, thank you so much for the 45 get the subs. Thank you. What the fuck is a charcuterie board? What's a charcuterie board? What's a charcuterie board? Cold cut? 
it's meat and cheese? Why couldn't you just say meat and cheese? Fancy Lunchables? Yeah. She I could like just that. say yeah. she wants to eat Lunchables. <laughs> 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 hey. Uh, okay, so we were thinking that we would go horseback riding on the beach. Oh, I was thinking about it, and I could definitely see you guys on some really pretty horses. Yeah, I have a horse. So I got a couple of so okay. It's real, exactly. Yeah, it's just it's real. Not, it's real. It's happening. We're getting sushi, <laughs> orange juice, and we're going to have a great time. Go to an abandoned building and risk uh, getting arrested for trespassing. Oh, word, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of spice. We'll live in a little bit, yeah. 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 We start with a bar crawl. And then we're going to go to the beach. And then okay. we're going to go to the beach. Right. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, we're both sober, but yeah. we'll go with you. Oh so shit, they don't fuck, they don't fucking drink. Both really big uh -oh. foodies, so our first ideal double date would be like finding a new restaurant to eat at Parmesan fries. Yes, hot little wings. Sure. Yeah. Wait, what the fuck is Parmesan fries? Sugar. I want that. <laughs> if we're gonna be Bonnie and Clyde, I need to know were you the driver or the shooter? Okay, for sure. Oh. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh. Whatever you need, I mean, yeah. He's the driver, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Pretty lookout, like cliffs, maybe. We love um, laying in grass. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll watch an anime movie afterwards. Demon Slayer just coming out. Hit up a museum. And stare at pieces. Let's go, Reeves! Let's um, go! And then for nighttime, we would go stargazing. And do you guys know the game, like, We're Not Really Strangers? No. Ooh, okay, it's like a card game that's meant to, like, cause deep conversations. It's just, okay. like, good questions. Okay, yeah. to get to know it's each like other. Nice yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Oh, jinx. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh. Okay, no, don't, like, point, <laughs> Jen. <laughs> just peek over it and, like, we'll talk about it. This is horrible. I'm confused, but okay. Horrible. Yeah. Mm. Then, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah and Destiny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just didn't like Demon Slayer. I thought... <laughs> oh my god, he voted off the weebs! Fuck this shit. I won't watch this one anymore. That's it. He voted off the weebs. Fuck them. Fuck them both. <laughs> they voted off the weebs. They voted off the weebs! Get the fuck out of here! Before we start this video, just want to take a moment to say thank you so much to Vessi for sponsoring this episode. I love comfortable. Dog, lightweight, rinse them off. Wow. What if I go what if I searched weeb dating? Weeb? Dating? Fuck! How oh, I get her fucking Connor videos? God damn it! Oh God. Uh. <sighs> Seems like that's the only that dating by cosplay is the only weave related dating game show thingy. What a shame. What a shame. Uh cosplay dating? <laughs> God damn it! So <laughs> guys go on a blind date with a cosplayer for the first time.
I guess weebs don't date. Probably not. I guess not. I guess we're all forever alone and we're not gonna date. And we're not gonna date and it's, we're forever alone and, and that's just that's just how it is, you know? That, what else can I say? I guess that's the way it is. That's that's our life. I guess that's life. I guess. I guess. Natsuko Raid! Natsuko, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, I'm sorry I was making weird noises. My bad. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello! It is I. Fucking weirdo. Uh, Iron Mouse. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Uh, so nice to say hello. Hello! Hello everyone, it is I, Satan. Uh, how you doing? Having a good day? We were watching weird fucking videos, but uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I shouldn't be watching that anymore, maybe not. We could watch this Sailor Moon video. World has if it's boring, I'm turning it off. Overwhelmingly been marketed to young boys dreaming about becoming powerful men. With transformative abilities that grant them control over their world and heaps of appreciation to validate their existence. For decades, the market failed to recognize that young Power girls Rangers like that stuff too. And there's just as much money to be made, if not more, selling it to them. Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is the history of Sailor Moon. Geek Love episode Brony Friend Zone? Wait, Brony Friend Zone? What the fuck are you talking about? What? You're telling me there's a. There's a. There, I'm more. I'm worried. Is this. This is gonna be weird. Comic Con is the perfect place to find your geek soulmate. This is Iggy Pie. She likes to party. Oh my god, are you a brony? Do people go to fucking Comic Con to date? Wait, this is from 2013? Oh, yes, I am. Oh my god. The girls that I really do like just wanna be friends. I'm kind of like nervous sitting around you right now. What comics are you reading? I have a lot of Oh dear god. This is from 2013! This is old as shit. Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to our... ...universe. <laughs> when you're at Comic-Con, the people in this world are different, and it shows. Nerds That's true. I think it's really important for geeks and nerds to be able to find love just like it's important for everybody else. Geeks are sexy because they're just sexy. This is 18 and over. Do people even still use the word geek? Like, is that even still a word? What the fuck even is that anymore? It's like a dead term. So I can say it because they can put a lot of imagination into But then again, this came out in 2013, so... Three, two, one, on to the next date! Sci-fi oh, speed, so speed dating at Comic-Con is the perfect place to find your geek soulmate. Over 18? I'm 13. You're 13. This is not the perfect place. Speed dating is not good. I don't think speed dating is good. I don't think so. I don't believe. 13. Yes. Inches. It's a, no. <laughs> Around. 
Uh, maybe exactly. around, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looking for guys or girls? Oh, girls, definitely. Okay. Hi, I'm Alex. I am 25, and I am a giant geek. All the art I usually get at Comic-Con, it's all up on the walls here. Every kind of trip to Comic-Con, I usually get a lot of po art. My love life status is a mix of forever alone and socially awkward penguin. This poor man. It's me. I understand. I understand you. I love, you know. I understand Rose you. Red from I am also forever alone. I love redheads. Big fan of them. One of my favorites is uh, this piece here. Just all red. Whoa, that's sick! <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's sick. That's beautiful. What the fuck? That's some cool ass art. I'm a renaissance geek. I like comics. I like board games. I love Doctor Who. And uh, I am also a brony. So what a brony is is someone who watches My Little Pony. Okay, this is uh, Pinkie Pie. She likes to party. So uh, this is Applejack here. Uh, she's She owns a farm in the show and uh, I like her, she's sort of the no-nonsense, hard-working one. If this favorite isn't Pinkie, Pinkie Pie, Pie, then no. Board game, so you're gonna all see that you have a certain amount of quarters and uh, I don't think that so. require. It's yeah. not gonna so work take out. those amount. My favorite thing about board games is how it, it can bring people together. What kind of girl do you want to meet when you go to con? Like, uh, I mean, there's many types of nerds. So someone, what, yeah. What, <laughs> um, what type of nerd would you say? No, seriously though, like what type of girl would you... Just friends. They seem to be, they seem to be pretty close. They seem to get along. You optimally like to meet there. Yeah, I guess you, but not crazy and hyper. So you essentially want- Oh my god, no. <gasps> I can't, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. I can't watch this! That hurt me! That hurt my heart! Oh. Oh. That makes me sad. Oh my god, I'm about to cry because it, it hurts me. I feel so bad. I can't watch this. My heart! Uh, this poor man! Uh, keep going! No! No! It gets better! No! No, you sick freak! You sick freak! Your twisted fantasies will never be quenched! Oh my god, can we watch Trust Taste, please? I swear to god, I'll any anything but this. Anything but this, please! Oh god. Yeah, I guess. It's a little creepy, Alex. <laughs> oh my Some god, my no! It gets worse every second! No! Why? I'd rather watch this, those fuckers bicycling than this. Fuck. And I don't want to watch them bicycling. I can't believe she said that to his face. That's like, like... It's like, girl, 
If you think that he's creepy, then why do you keep on hanging out with him? I don't understand. Why? If you feel creeped out by him, and you don't want him to get the wrong idea, why are you still hanging out with him? Like, what the fuck? That's kind of fucked up, too. If you're gonna call him a creep, and you're gonna be like that, why are you still talking to him? Why are you still hanging out with him? What's the cooking? Wait, what cooking? Oh, the cooking special. Can we watch that? There's blood in that video. They show blood. Are we? Can we watch that? Will we get in trouble for blood? For fish blood? He probably does a lot of stuff for... Mm. Challenges with girls are just the girl that I really do like, that I'm really interested in. Just want to be friends. What kind of questions are you going to ask? Who's your favorite pony? Why do you give a fuck? Oh why, why, why? Why? Why do you give a fuck? 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 Why do you even give a fuck? Why do you give a fuck? Why? Why do you give a fuck? He's going on a date. Why do you care? Why do you care? Why do you give a fuck? <laughs> I can't, I can't watch it anymore. No. No! No! I want to watch anymore. I don't like it. Makes me, makes me sad. Don't need to keep watching. No! No, you can't force me to watch that. Yay, Torin, thank you for the five gifted subs. Get past this part. Does he find love? I want to know, does he? <sighs> no! Crap, thank you for flying it to us. No! 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 No, I don't want to skip to the end because I'm, you're probably baiting me. No, there's not gonna. Be, I bet you there's not gonna be a happy ending. No. I'm trying to bait me. You're trying to trick me. I don't want to watch it anymore. Oh my god. I'm getting a text message from Lucifer from Obey Me app. He wants to talk to me urgently. Please prevent Bill's bub. <laughs> Tim 
Timbers, thank you for the five gifted subs. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, what? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! That's a lot of work to do. Is it complicated? Egg POV. Mmm. What the heck? It's pink. Why the fuck are the sounds so fucking loud? Do they use like a special mic to amplify the sound? Ugh. This is more disgusting than the previous vi- What are you talking about? They're making a cake! What are you talking about? Onion milk cake. Yeah, it's a Nyaner's milk special. What? That slapping noise though, what the fuck? That's a lot. <coughs> oh my god, it's different colors. I want to eat it. Name of the video, Strawberry Yogurt Crepe Cake Recipe. Looks like Bologna.
us to sight. understand ASMR is supposed to feel tingly I guess I never feel them but it's nice to hear the sounds they do that? How do they get that shit so smooth? Man, the scorping sound. I don't know that's how I feel about that scorping sound. Too much scorp. Iron Man is a Mario friend. I was gonna buy the microphone to do it, but they were sold out for a while. I think it was because of the holidays. At least seventy five dollars. Oh, my God, you can't even eat the whole thing down.
are they eating it all by themselves? I get to solve. Thank you. <laughs> Would you eat all those eggs for a million dollars? Oh man, I kind of want to watch this video, but... <clears throat> There's a video that looks pretty interesting, but... <clears throat> I'm conflicted because... <sighs> it's a BuzzFeed video. <laughs> How can I describe the Babish cookware line? How can I describe? Robust, beautiful, durable. Oh my god. He made a cookware line? I had no idea he made a cookware line. I say add. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week, wow. as you may have just seen, my cookware line is available now. Among the items available are these knives, which are super duper sharp. He's gonna make that! He's gonna make the choice platter 
from the Chef Choice Platter from Monster Hunter. Which I was reminded of as I was cleaning them for this very shot. And since today we're recreating the Chef's Platter from Monster Hunter World, it seemed appropriate to recreate a very, very old video of mine where I test out a knife's sharpness on a pineapple. Nice. I can tell that I've definitely nice. gotten a lot older since that video because, you know. Naturally, we have to try to f*** up the pineapple. Oh my god, is this like... A really big throwback to him? <clears throat> Whoa! Ah! <laughs> yep, that's right. I had hair. Anyway, the Babbage knives are available now. Let's get back to cooking. First, for whatever drink is being drunk out of the flagon, I'm gonna make some tipache. We're gonna start by rough. What does it look like now? Yeah, is he bald? Is he a bald man? Babish. Oh, I see. He's a very good looking man. Very good looking man. There's nothing wrong with being bald. Bald men can be sexy too. You don't have to have a full head of hair to be sexy. I'm about are you, I'm about to nut, really? Is this what you think I sound like when I'm about to nut? If so, whatever woman you've ever been with has been lying to you. cubing a whole pineapple try to add six bald ounces of brown sugar me? promptly drop it i love bald men i love i love uh men of all shapes and sizes and women of all shapes and sizes with hair of all shapes and sizes i just love people take a moment for contemplation and self-reflection dust yourself off add the sugar plus three or four cinnamon sticks a whole dried ancho chili if you want a little heat what one whole star and, chili? and two whole cloves we're doing this in a thoroughly sanitized food grade but wait what the fuck available now let's get back to cooking first for whatever drink it's like you put that shit all in like a trash can is being drunk out of the flagon i'm gonna make some tipache we're gonna start by roughly cubing a whole pineapple what the fuck is tipache Try to add six ounces of brown sugar, promptly drop it. Do you love big foreheads? I have a big forehead. I have bangs to cover my forehead. But if you have a big forehead and you want to flaunt your big forehead, and you're confident about your big forehead, just be confident and flaunt off your big forehead. Be proud of your forehead. I am not proud, which is why I have bangs. But take a moment for contemplation and self-reflection. Dust yourself off, add the sugar, plus three or four cinnamon sticks, a whole dried ancho chili if you want a little heat, one whole star anise, and two whole cloves. We're doing this in a thoroughly sanitized food grade bucket because we are fermenting this mixture. Just cover what? it up and let it sit out at room temperature for- You're fermenting all that shit in there? For 48 hours. The resultant mixture will be slightly darker brown. We're going to strain out all the solids and transfer, albeit unsuccessfully, to a pitcher for easy pouring. Go ahead and wipe yourself off, bust out your favorite ladle, Whoa, and like... ladle into the pitcher. That looks like... That looks like... 
looks like pee pee. What results is an absolutely delicious, barely carbonated, barely alcoholic, refreshing, warm weather beverage. Now that that's made, we gotta talk about all those meats on skewers. Now, both because the chef's choice platter changes every time and because it's called the chef's choice platter, I'm just gonna kinda make whatever I want here. So for the sausagey looking things, I'm gonna make a smoked sausage that's 80% lean beef and 20% pork fat, which will hopefully give us the great flavor of pork with the also great flavor of beef. We'll place in both the meat pork and the fat, fat in the freezer for at least 20 minutes until the edges of the pieces of meat become firm. Then through a similarly chilled meat grinder, we're grinding everything together through its coarsest oh. plate. Once that's done, we're spreading it out evenly on a rim baking sheet, putting it and the grinder back in the freezer for another 20 minutes, and regrinding this time through the finest plate. This should give our sausage a nice, smooth, hot dog-like interior. Then for the cure, I'm using the cure calculator over at meatsandsausages.com. So exactly three and a half grams of prog powder number one, 28 grams of kosher salt, five and a half grams of freshly ground black pepper, six grams garlic powder, two grams of ground fennel, three grams harissa, and two and a half grams Aleppo pepper. Four this is too much measuring. This is too much math. Too much math. For roughly three pounds total ground meat. For a spice blend that I'm gonna call babish worst. You know, like bratwurst, but with babish, that it doesn't really work, does it? Sprinkle that evenly over the ground meat and massage in, making sure the cure is evenly incorporated. Of course, we're going to cut ourselves off a piece, cook it up, and test it Whoa. for seasoning. We are about to turn this meat into sausages, and this is your last chance to add any more salt, pepper, garlic, whatever. It passed the taste test, so now it's time to stuff it into some intestine. Thread that onto your sausage stuffer according to manufacturer's specification. Ew, what the fuck is that? What is that? Intestine? and stuff the meat mixture, now called a farce, into the awaiting hopper. The goal here, of course, is to stuff the sausage evenly and gradually so that we don't end up with a burst sausage. Once stuffed, we can twist into individual links and then it's ready to cure. So these guys are headed into the fridge covered overnight. This is going to allow the pink curing salt to work its magic. The next day, we're going to retrieve our sausages, which are nearly ready to be smoked. First, we got to prick them up a little bit. Using the very sharpest and thinnest thing you can find, poke a bunch of holes in the link. This will prevent them from bursting as we smoke them for two hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or until they are an enchanting cherry red, juicy and fully cooked. And I was pleased to find that these sausages were pleasurable to eat, and I'm sure that they'll be even better once they are kissed by the grill. Next up in the world of things that we have to do way ahead of time, we're dry brining a big old chicken. Combining one big teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper per pound of chicken. Tiny whisk until homogenous, and then use to season the bird liberally in Inside and out. Oh and my god, he's manhandling that fucking bird. Look at him. Oh, look at him go. Covered overnight, which, as you can see, has dried that bird out the skin, boss. which is going to give us a really crispy bird. Now, recently, I've had success with the upside down roasting method, so I'm going to fill a large saute pan with mirepoix, stuff the bird full of all kinds of garlic and herbs and lemons, truss the legs shut. This helps elevate the thighs so they cook more evenly, and it's headed into the pan, inverted. And then it's headed into a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven, or 400 with convection, which, if you've got it you should do because it's going to give your bird crispier skin flip after 30 minutes and roast for an additional 30 until it's deeply golden brown and cooked through now as for the big paella looking thing in front paella is normally flat because it cooks right in the pan so the idea of pan transference gave me an idea i could finish the paella in a hot pan but this sort of reminded me of bibimbap so again, since this is the chef's choice, I decided to merge the two. Oh. I'm making a real simple shrimp stock here using shrimp shells and a whole bunch of aromatics and herbs and peppercorns and garlic and all the things that are good. And cook it for about 45 minutes until it's really shrimpy. Strain it. Make sure you turn off the stove, Andy. Safety first. That's what I always say. Safety first, shrimp second. And keep it warm in a medium saucepan along with two cups of dry white wine. Then in a large Dutch oven, we are thoroughly sauteing one large onion, thinly sliced, until starting to caramelize. And then we're going to add two grated cloves of garlic, two teaspoons Ooh. gochugaru, and one tablespoon sweet paprika, which we're just going to saute together. This is so complicated. Oh my god, can you imagine? You're like, think about this. It's date night, and you found out that the girl or guy you're going to date loves Monster Hunter, 
and you're like, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do for Valentine's Day. I'm going to make them a chef's choice platter. Oh, there's a recipe. Let me see. Oh, never mind. This shit is going to take me eight hours to make. What the fuck? guys like cooking, huh? You guys like to cook? Are you guys cook, cooksters? Are you cookmen and cookwomen? Do you like cooking? Do you like cooking? What, Danis? Thank you for the gift itself. Do you like cooking? You like cooking, don't you? You like a lot of cooking? You like to cook? Do you prefer cooking? Hello, Sha. Thank you for five good subs. Well, you know what? Sometimes cooking takes a long time and it's a process and it can't be rushed. For about 30 seconds until fragrant, deglazing with a 14 ounce can of whole plum tomatoes and about a third of a cup of gochujang. Cook all these guys together for about five minutes, let their flavors get to know each other, and then we're adding the rice. Four cups of short grain arborio rice. Mix those guys on up together just to coat all the granules of rice, and then we're going to add our shrimp stock and wine mixture. All at once. We're not making risotto here, we're making a uh, paella bibimbap. Bibimbap. Mix everybody together just to make sure that everything is evenly distributed. Season generously oh, yeah, with you know salt, how to cook, freshly ground black pepper. Cook. And what the hell, let's finish things up with a couple teaspoons of toasted sesame oil. Then this guy's headed into a preheated 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 15 minutes. Just enough time for the rice to have absorbed most of the water so that it can act... Is that uncooked rice? Yeah, it's gonna be cooked in the pot. Act as a platform for some big old prawns. Head on, full anti big old all that prawns. good stuff. Then the lid's headed back on and back into the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. Is a prawn anyway? Is that is it like a shrimp? Is a prawn like a shrimp? Do they taste the same? And it's until the prawns are cooked through. Meanwhile, I'm wait. What's a ca a crayfish? What's the difference between a shrimp, a prawn, and a crayfish? Preheating and generously oiling a large ovular cast iron skillet, which, once smoking hot, will be the recipient of our pie bim bop. This will hopefully create the crispy, crunchy layer that exists. So it's fresh water. Mm. Crayfish is a tiny lobster? It's on the bottom of both paella and bibimbap. Or at least theoretically, oh my God, like that everything so else that we're doing good. today. What Pile the it fuck? high and proud, <gasps> arrange the prawns on top, and then it's time to start talking skewered meats. I One of the more memorable that. parts of the chef's choice platter are some towering skewers of meat reminiscent of a churrascaria. And again, since I'm doing pretty much whatever I want, I'm gonna- Did he say churrascaria? Churrascaria. Start with a mojo marinade for the shrimp, the juice of three oranges marinade. and five limes, and a whole head of garlic peeled and crushed. And we're also going to add one teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of oregano, a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, tiny whisk completely until you remember that you forgot a tablespoon of olive oil, and that you wanted to experiment with baking soda, which should both make our marinade into a bubbly fizzing science project and hopefully give our shrimp some better color on the grill. Then I've got a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp here that I'm going to mix together and a 
allowed to sit in the marinade for at least 30 minutes. And now, since I'm in the mood to go to a churrascaria, I'm gonna make some picanha, which actually refers to a specific cut of beef. It's a rump steak with a thick cap of fat that we need to slice across the grain to keep it tender. First, we're gonna start by scoring the fat, which is just gonna help make it look pretty. And then after locating the direction of the grain, we're gonna slice across it into big old thick slabs. Mine has a little bit too much fat cap on it, so I'm gonna cut some off. And traditionally, these would be cut a lot thicker, but the idea is that you press it into a horseshoe shape before skewering. And speaking of skewers, I got these big boys off Amazon. These are the kinds Whoa. used in Brazilian steakhouses. What the and fuck? I assume that's a big ass knife. That's like a that's like a sword. Chef combat. Go ahead and practice your moves a little bit, take stock of the damage you just did to your table, and start skewering the beef. Now the reason you traditionally want to do these thicker is so that you can carve them right off the skewer, but for my purposes today, these ought to do just fine. Picanha is then usually heavily salted with rock salt, but all I've got is kosher, so that's what I'm going to do. Season generously and let stand at room temperature for at least 45 minutes before cooking, during which time we can subdivide our sausage into skewer appropriate sizes. And once that's done, we can similarly impale our shrimp. Once everybody has been skewered, it's time to head out to the grill, which we've had preheating on maximum flame for like 15 minutes. Aww, I'm gonna start man. with the red meat because it needs the most time to cook. Grill covered for maybe five minutes and then rotate about 30 degrees so you get those nice cross hatches. Can you, you imagine flip. being Once this flipped, guy's shrimp cook pretty quickly every and time, just charring every day, the sausage so those so guys good. can go on. Like, Both are only gonna need about two to three minutes per <sighs> side. Once everybody's grilled up, we've only got one more dish to contend with, that sort of seafood looking stew in the corner. I have no idea what it is other than it's red and it's got seafood, so I'm gonna make Thai curry mussels. So I'm saying a minced shallot and a tablespoon of vegetable oil for about three Three minutes, grating in two teaspoons of fresh lemongrass and one tablespoon of fresh ginger, sauteing for about 30 seconds or until nice and fragrant. Then we're adding one tablespoon each tomato paste and red Thai chili paste. We likewise just want to saute these guys together for about a minute just to caramelize them. Then we're deglazing with a third of a cup of dry white wine, simmering until the That's alcohol cooks off, and adding a 14 ounce can of unsweetened coconut milk. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of fish sauce for a flavorful kick. Mix this guy up together, bring him to a simmer, and then I'm going to add two pounds of clean cleaned, de-bearded mussels. Toss around a coat, cover it up, and cook over low that, heat for about five minutes mean? until the mussels what does de mean? Now all there is left to do is assemble. First we gotta cut the chunk off the side of a pineapple so it can act as our skewer holder. Arrange things as closely as you can to the way that they're presented in the game. Serve up the red Thai chili mussels. Skewer the skewers, grab a gigantic wedge of cheese. And then again, since our paella is inspired by bibimbap, I'm gonna add a fried egg on top, scatter some scallions, and pile on some kimchi. And there you have it, my chef's choice special. Biggest challenge now is to decide what to try first. Gotta say the best thing on the table probably ended up being the pie bimbap. It was seafoody and spicy and it had a lovely crunchy layer on oh the bottom God, just like so I good. wanted. I know it's an absolute culinary mishmash, but hey, tastes good. The chicken brown weird but tasted delicious and was ultra crispy. The mini picanha was cooked to a perfect medium rare and was pretty much just steak with salt on it, so it was delicious. No big surprises there. The shrimp was absolutely delicious and the real problem child turned out to be the sausage, which was really tasty but ended up getting a little dry on the grill. I suspect that emulsifying it with ice water like a hot dog would fix this. And the mussels were very delicious. A little spicy, a little cocoa nutty, and most of all muscly. And as for the giant block of Swiss, I could not resist just ah! taking a big old bite. Thank you guys very much for watching and for bite. making my lunch leftovers really, really cool this week. Oh man, that looks so good. Come to the family, Madrigal, whoa, 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 part of the family, Madrigal, whoa, whoa, I, I want to go to sleep, but I don't want to, I don't, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'm going to sleep through. Mm. I don't mind your grandpa call. <clears throat> I'll set an alarm. I guess I'll set my alarm. Oh, I, oh, 
have it. Thank you so much for the time you have to solve. Uh, where is it? Forget we'll save you for the time give yourself comment. Thank you for the time. What the fuck? That's what I thank you for the time day of my Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> what should I put for? What should I put for? For? Cause thank you for the five gifts and subs. What should I put for? Uh. Cause it was cause was. Thank you for the ten gifts and subs. Thank you. What should I put for, uh, uh, fairly? Dram, thank you for the gifts and subs, thank you. What should I, uh, put for the video? Uh, I think, uh... <laughs> um... Look, ah, the Fallen Rag, thank you for the gifts and subs. Thank you guys so much, you guys are too kind, thank you. <sighs> you want your trash taste specials? <laughs> okay, what what is it that you want? The cycling one and the food one? I feel bad like putting it on. Have you ever licked I feel bad putting it on that you guys watch it. It should be my videos that you should be watching. While I'm sleeping, not their video. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you for the gift of subs. Thank you, Terry. Ter Terry, what the fuck? Terry, thank you for the 100 gift of subs. Thank you. I mean, he gave you permission. Well, no, he gave me permission to play his videos. He didn't give me permission to play. Trash taste videos, technically, if we were, if we're being, if we're being picky. It takes two VOD? Hey, where is that at? Is that on my VOD channel? Is that on my VOD channel? I don't remember if it's on my VOD channel or not. Dun 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 dun! Iron Mouse VOD. Iron Mouse VOD. Iron Mouse VOD. Iron Mouse VOD. Ow! Iron Mouse VOD. 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 I must bud.
Sorry about that. Uh, I wonder... I wonder... Wait. <laughs> Alright, I'm putting it on. <laughs> Jesus. How many parts is this? I don't even know. Enable streams call. Thank you for getting in on the early part. Invite me to the goddamn game, Mouse, and accept my stream squad invite. Ugh. Oh, you clearly thank you so much for the five good so thank you all. Well, thank you for the goodness. So sorry, I'm putting, <laughs> I'm putting these. In. I I hope I found all of them because if I didn't find them all, I'm gonna feel kind of bad. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta go to the bathroom really quick before I go to bed. Hold on, I'll be right back.
back, baby. We bring ding 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 ding. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck? <gasps> we hit on oh, oh my god. Ah, thank you guys so much. Holy shit. We gotta DM a friend. We gotta DM a friend. We gotta DM a friend. <sighs> oh, Crip, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Yeah, monkey. <clears throat> Hold on, let me get a... Uh, let me get this ready. I'll put a poll up, let's see. Callie won! 
Let's go! Alright. What do you want me to DM Callie? That has to be nice. Not nothing crazy. Look on a recovery? I'll get well soon. Get well soon. Wow, I'm surprised Jojo lost. Yeah, we're gonna go bed. Okay, I'm gonna try to get, uh, for this one, Bishojo Game Night collab. We'll try to get as many Bishojo members as we can. <laughs> Hopefully, some of them, many of them can join, I hope. Uh, and, uh, you guys can choose the game that we play. But, uh, I'll give them the biggest pretty please. So that they can join. It's hard to get everybody together. Okay, let me DM Callie really quick. Callie, Callie, 
Bye, 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 bye. Okay. Uh. Hi, hi, Kelly. <laughs> Hello, dears. My dearest Calliope Mori. I hope this message. Hope this message finds you well. How is they? I have been thinking. Maybe we should watch JoJo together sometime. But I would really like to play games with you. With you again. Maybe Terraria. Since no one else <laughs> wants to play with me. <laughs> play that game with me. <sighs> but only after you re after you recover. Me and my community wish you well and we hope you recover very, very soon. We love you. Love motherfucking dumbass me. Noticed you haven't been answering your Discord calls lately. Okay, let me get in my bed. All right, bros. Oh. 
All right, bros. All right, bros. Let me get my bed. Don't look there. I returned. <clears throat> I returned and it's time for me to take a rest. It's time for me to take a rest and show you the day's selection of I thought it was be really funny. Uh, I, I thought it takes two, uh, but in there, but uh, uh, wouldn't it be funny if we watched uh my first collab with this motherfucker? Just subscribed for seven months. Holy seven months shit! Oh my life. god! Thanks for such an amazing time. Love you, Mousy. Holy shit! My alerts are so loud back then. Fuck. <laughs>